there, everybody? Sanitizer, and we're here with another review, and it's a little, it's a little different. We got ourselves a bus that I got from a fellow collector. Um, so we just received the bus today. It's been in the mail for the past, I don't know, I want to say a week or so. So I'm very excited to open it. I just uh, cut the box open. I didn't look inside. So let's see what we got. Well, here's the box. I don't know if you guys can see me. So I'm gonna open it up real quick. I'm not gonna show you guys our addresses, obviously, because. I don't want nobody to know where I live, but I'm sure this guy doesn't either. Now, I am a little worried. I get the scalpel. I'm a little worried that it is damaged because these busts are pretty, pretty fragile. And, uh, okay, so this is the bottom. All right, so we have a new Nightmare bust made of full resin. Now, I don't know who made this. I gotta check with the guy that sold it to me uh, so I can put it in the description and I'm gonna put it right here on the screen right now. Who was the artist? But man, this is really cool. I, I can't deny it. I like, I like all the details on it, the lifelikeness of it. Um, just the skin tone, the teeth. It's all resin, real material shirt. Oh man. All right, so this is Freddy from Wes Craven's New Nightmare, which is kind of a real self-aware movie. It's kind of like a trope movie. It's a movie within a movie. And this is his Freddy. Now, man, I'm impressed. There, it isn't perfect. There's a few things I don't like about it. First of all, I think the, the, the face is a little bit too squished together and the eyes is what is a little off. And the expression is a little off, but everything else is on point. The details, the painting, the sculpture. Uh, yeah, man, it's cool. It's, it's well done. I think it's meant to be like that. So, this is a one-on-one -on -one skill bust. And, and I gotta say, like I like I said, I'm impressed. It's definitely, it's definitely a cool little thing to add on top of the detail so I can display with my other Freddies. Uh, I've been starting to collect a little bit of busts here and there, but you know, I, I don't go too crazy. So, this, it is a lightweight piece, but that doesn't take away from it. I'm not gonna be playing football with it, so I think it, it's just fine that it's lightweight. The sweater uh, is is a good sweater. Um, is it a movie accurate sweater? No, it is not movie accurate, uh, and it's been weathered by the guy that owned this uh, because, or else it came unclean. I don't even know if I'll display it with the sweater at this point. I might just display it without the sweater. Um, it's got a bunch of details, awesome skin tone, it's resin, not silicone. I prefer being resin, I'm afraid of silicone and latex things, I'm, I'm afraid to own them for long periods of time. I love, I love the muscle texture that you have under that burnt skin. I love the teeth, the paint job is really, really immaculate. The eyes are a real letdown though, I gotta say, they're absolute letdown. Um, it's like a whitewash eye, a soulless eye, it doesn't really add to the expression in any way in there. I think they're a little bit too parted together. Uh, the ears are well done. The back of the head is, he's got burr marks, dark black marks. The neck is really, really well detailed. But you know, you could tell that it's a new Nightmare Freddy. It looks better from afar, I'll tell you, than up close. Up close, you kind of lose what it is. But from afar, it's actually a lot more impressive. Uh, so the paint, I'll give it a, a seven out of 10. Uh, I would have liked a little bit more gloss in certain areas because Freddy's a pretty glossy guy. The concept, I give a seven out of 10. Uh, and the presentation, I give a, I'd probably give a six out of 10. It could have been done better. It definitely could have been done better. It could have maybe came with uh, a pole or, or something like a bus holder. It doesn't come with that. Um, and maybe the hat would have been nice. It didn't even come with a hat. So that was, that was kind of that, that BS right there. But other than that, it, it's it's cool. It's a solid, to me, it's a solid seven release, you know? Would I pay more than what I paid for it? No, um, I actually did a trade. So it was a pretty fair and comparable trade. I got a few more things coming. Um, 
from the same collector. He, he got the Slipknot set off me and I got uh, two busts and uh, Jesse Arm, which is really, really cool. You guys are going to see reviews on those. Um, I, to tell you the truth, I don't know if this is really underscaled. I think this, no, it's actually a good scale. Yeah, it's the same size as my head. Um, I, th I thought it was just something unique to have to display in the horror section, so I'm happy, man. I'm happy. Uh, he gave me a hell of a fair offer, uh, and, and I gave him a, a fair offer, too, so I think we're both happy. Well, well done. I, to whoever the artist is, I gotta I got put the name somewhere, um, because I never found out in the end. I just wanted it for, because it looked good. Um, but I'm not, I'm not fully, I'm, I'm not, but I'm not disappointed. I'm happy. I am very happy. A very good nightmare, new nightmare bust, and definitely one of my favorite Freddy looks. So definitely excited to have him in the man cave, Mr. Fredster. Let's take some pictures and up close shots, as you guys have been seeing, um, and then we're gonna go display him. And yeah, this is a permanent home. So please subscribe and share, and uh, hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss any of the uploads such as this or 1-6 custom horror figure reviews or other 1-6 custom figures or statues or hot toys so I got a lot in the works for y'all so definitely stay tuned and I'm, I'm pretty impressed I'm not gonna lie we just gotta fix that eye problem and then we good alright y'all till next time stay sick conquer your own collection and peace